Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my review channel. No, this is not a typical review that I do over on this channel, but this is a video that I feel like is important to make and I'm actually a little bit nervous about making this video. Um, anytime I do a video where I'm complaining about something that I experience in my everyday life, I always get a few comments of people that will say, um, oh Peter, these are like first world problems or Peter, why are you complaining about this? And you know, and I, I am someone that has a very blessed life and I want to make that very, very clear. Um, and I talk about that a lot in all of my other videos. Um, and I'm not somebody that complains a lot. I, I, if you're somebody that watches my drama channel, you probably find this hard to believe. You're probably like, well, Peter, on your drama channel, you complain on a daily basis. And I do, but, you know, that's kind of, uh, that's, that's kind of the realm of being a drama commentary channel is talking about issues that you have with YouTubers and, and uh, public figures and things like that. Um, but in my everyday life, I'm not someone that complains often. Um, I don't typically, I can't even remember the last time at a restaurant that if food came out and it wasn't the exact way that I wanted it, that I sent it back or things like that. And, and I rarely complain. And in all honesty, you know, um, if I order something and it doesn't come the way that I want it to, I typically don't even send it back. I just lose the money that I've spent on it, whether that's food or whether that's items on Amazon and things like that. And I know that there's pr probably many of you out there that think that that's stupid. And, you know, my friends think it's stupid as well and they're like you know my husband thinks it's stupid and says like why don't you send it back why don't you get your money's worth and you know many times especially like if it's food or something like that I just don't like to you know um like have to bother people with that or whatever so I don't and I'm not somebody that complains a lot but um I have been ordering a lot from DoorDash lately. In fact, I'm going to show you how often I've been ordering from DoorDash recently. And probably over the last two, two and a half months, um, I've ordered almost daily with the exception of when we were um, out of town in Mexico. And um, I've had some rather unpleasant experiences recently. One of which was the other night, and I talked about this in my vlog, the other night, um, my food was left outside of the gate. And um, so, for those of you that don't know, we live in a, it's a gated community, but it's really not a gated community. There's a back gate that is locked, and then there's like the, the front of our condo association, you can just like come right in. There's like, it's not a locked gate or anything like that. And so, um, my neighbor, while I was vlogging, happened to walk by, and he said, hey, I have a question for you. So I stopped my vlog, and I said, yeah, what? And he said, you order Piata on a pretty regular basis, right? And I said, yeah. And I had even just mentioned on my vlog, I said, I, like, this is really weird. Like, it usually is here in, like, 20 minutes, and it's been, like, 40-some minutes at this point. I don't know where the food is, you know, whatever. I wonder what's going on with it. And my phone was inside. So... I was kind of thinking, like, maybe they've tried to, like, text me or call me or whatever, right? And so I, I stopped my vlog, and he said to me, there's food down by the gate. Like, somebody left Piata sitting outside the gate in the grass. And I was like, oh, okay. And so I was like, well, that's mine, so I'll walk down there and get it. It's about a half a mile walk, maybe a little bit longer, to the gate. And so I walked, he was like, I'll walk with you. So we walked down there, and he was like, well, I was worried that somebody else would pick it up or, you know, that an animal would get into it, like a dog or something like that. Because it was literally just left, like, on the grass. The bag was just left on the grass, right? So I go down there, and, um, and it had been out there for probably, like, a half an hour. So I got the food brought it back in, whatever, and went inside, and I checked my phone. They had never text messaged me. They had never messaged me through the app. Um, they had literally just uh, put it outside the gate in the grass and taken a picture of it. And I got a lot of comments on my vlog, and this is not what this video is about, so I just want to make, make that clear. This is not just about this one incident, because um, I understand that DoorDashers get confused, or they sometimes don't know where, and this is, again, where I wouldn't complain about something like this, right? So I understand that. So, um, a lot of pe people questioned my vlog. They said, well, you know, like maybe they didn't know where to deliver it and whatnot, right? So I have written on my notes, like in my DoorDash thing, to leave it on this table right here, this table that the tripod is on right now, to leave it on the table outside my door, okay, on the patio. I have that written. So I don't know what table or patio they saw outside the gate, but um, I went into the app and um, there was like a place where you can like file a complaint or whatever. 
And the complaint was that the door dasher left off the wrong place. So the only resolution to that was for me to get my tip back. Well, I was under the understanding that if I did that, then the dasher wouldn't get his tip. And I didn't want the tip, the tip, or the dasher to be punished because maybe they didn't know where to leave it or whatnot, right? And so I didn't do that. Okay, so. And, and I talked about that on my vlog, and somebody that was a dasher said that, um, they commented on my vlog, and they said, well, they're not going to be, like, they won't lose any money from that. DoorDash is the one that, like, they'll lose the tip money. They're the ones that are reimbursing you for the tip money, but the dasher won't lose any money, so if, if they leave it in the wrong place. So I didn't really think much about it, and I was like, okay, like, you know, I'm not going to make a bigger issue out of it than it was. Well, the next day, and it was funny because I was just reading through my comments on my vlog, and somebody said, you never let us know, that, no, you never let us, uh, how, how the food turned out that night. Because the next night, I ordered DoorDash again. Now, I don't drive, okay? Um, and when my cousin, my husband comes home, like, on his way home, he's like, I'll get you food if you want me to get you food or want to take you to the grocery store. But I'm like, it's just easier for me to DoorDash. I DoorDash Piata, Italian street food, literally every night. There is proof to this on my vlog. I'm going to prove it to you in just a second. But I literally order DoorDash Piata Italian street food like almost every single night and I spend large sums of money on it as well Okay, so the next night I ordered it and the door dasher came right into my driveway as they usually do on my vlog I even like go out and pick up my food from the driveway and whatever And I always tip them on the app and I typically tip them in cash as well, right? Okay, so when she came I said to her, I said, I was a little worried because last night the door dasher left it outside the gate. And so I was worried that maybe like on the app, the GPS or whatever. And she looked at me kind of strange and she's like, no, the GPS brings you right to this residence. And she said, there's an alternative route that goes to your back gate. She was like, but anybody that's driven for any amount of time knows not to go to a gate. There's always an alternate route or, or we contact the person. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I was kind of like, well, that is weird to me. Now, mind you, I got a comment on my vlog. I just want to read this to you from somebody that said, um, I got a couple comments about this actually. Hold on a second. Somebody said, um, I work for a large company and we do some day deliveries which DoorDash or, with DoorDash or Uber Eats, usually deliveries. The amount of times I've seen DoorDashers drop off people's orders in weird places would blow you away. We've had them drop off orders at the side of the road, in the parking lot, just sitting in one of the spaces at big apartment complexes, in the back of someone's truck bed, at the gate of massive apartment complexes, just out in the open to be stolen, etc. It always baffles me when I see them do this because the addresses are normally super easy, which mine is, okay? And they've delivered it numerous times. Um, but they don't seem to want to have to walk all the way to the front door. I don't know. Most of the time they do good, but there's definitely been those other times where I wonder what they were thinking. Now, I have to tell you, my experience, other than this one time, has been at the DoorDashers. The drivers have been fantastic. They have been friendly. People talk about how, like, your bags are open. My bags are stapled with a receipt over it. My food has always been fantastic and, and fine until just recently. Um, all the DoorDashers have been absolutely wonderful. Very, very friendly. They're interacting with me. Um, they're very nice. So this was my first time experiencing this, which is why I really didn't want to complain that I didn't want to lose a tip for this person. This other person said, the fact that they left your food at the gate is unacceptable without trying to contact you. People use food delivery services because they can't get around very well at times. Imagine if your back was out and you ordered a food. There's no way you'd be able to get it. They had one job and they didn't do it. I'd be so ticked off. It's not like they left it at the end of your driveway or the entrance to an apartment building. They left it in the grass by the street, for goodness sakes. May as well have chucked it in the ditch. They probably did that so they could hustle to the next delivery and make as much money as possible. You know, and I thought about that because the community that I live in, there's a lot of people in here that door dash. The community that I live in is the average age is about 75 to 80. 85. So it's not like these people, many of them, can walk a half a mile down to the gate to pick up their food. Needless to say, that was not the issue that I am complaining about today. So I want to get in here and I want to read to you the amount of times that I have ordered because I screenshot this last night. I was going to do this video in front of the computer so I could just read it straight from you, but for you. Um, but I just screenshot it and said, so I'm going to read to you the dates, the most recent dates that I have ordered DoorDash and the amount of money that I have spent, okay? Um... Saturday, May 13th, $36.10. Tuesday, May 16th, $51.12. Thursday, May 18th, $50.60. This is all from Piata Street Food, okay? Friday, May 19th, $49.18. Monday, May 22nd, $50.07. Tuesday, May 23rd, $63.80. Hold on a second. 
Um, Wednesday, May 24th, $34.05. Thursday, May 25th, $35.56. Friday, May 26th, $35.56. Um, Saturday, May 27th, $39.70. Sunday, May 28th, $51.37. Wednesday, May 31st, $65.13. Thursday, June 1st, $24.68. Um, Friday, June 2nd, $6.90. Saturday, June 3rd. These are all Piata street food, okay? Never once have I ever complained. Always give a five-star rating, always the highest tip. I always give them cash as well, or typically give them cash as well. Saturday, June 3rd, $38.13. Wednesday, June 2nd, $30.25. Thursday, June 8th, $66.77. Um, Friday, June 9th, $51.75. Sunday, June 11th, $26.32. Monday, June 12th, $73.12. Wednesday, June 14th, $66.62. Thursday, June 15th, $30.77. Friday, June 16th, $41.67. There's a reason why I'm reading this to you, so hold on. Saturday, June 17th, $56.71. Monday, June 19th, $30.77, okay? Tuesday, June 20th, $41.67. Friday, June 23rd, $41.67. That was when we went to Mexico and we were gone for a week. We got back on the 2nd. Monday, June 3rd. Uh, $60.82. Thursday, June 6th, $41.67. Friday, June, uh, July 7th, $40.58. Monday, Ju July 10th, $29.68. Wednesday, July 12th, $40.58. And um, Thursday, July 13th, $40.96. Oh, wait, I forgot about this last page. Friday, Ju July 14th, $57.13. Saturday, July 15th, $15.81. Sunday, July 16th, $36.13. 13 cents. Monday, July 17th, $40.58. Wednesday, July 19th, $44.70. Thursday, July 20th, $55.60. Friday, July 21st, $40.58. Saturday, July 22nd, $29.68. Oh my god, I forgot there are so many of these. Sunday, July 23rd, $36.13. Monday, July 24th, $64.88. Tuesday, July 25th, $39.20. And Wednesday, this was last night, July 26th, $35.71, okay? $35.71 is what I spent last night. All right. So last night, um, I got my food, and when I opened my pasta, there was bacon on it. This is not the first time that this has happened, okay? Um, I specifically order, you can go into DoorDash, you can go into the restaurant, you can go into Piata Street Food, and you can specifically order, um, and I'm not saying this isn't Piata's fault. I don't know really whose fault this is. All I know is that I order through DoorDash, okay? So DoorDash is the one that should reimburse me for this. And a lot of people emailed me when I first sent this, and they said, DoorDash should reimburse you, because I had talked about how I had ordered in the past they have Parmesan sticks and they also have pepperoni sticks well I had ordered Parmesan sticks and I got pepperoni sticks in the past which have pepperoni in it I'm a vegetarian I don't eat any meat okay they also do not have on the app for Piata where you can specify and say, please do not put any meat in this, okay? But on my pasta, I specifically order it with no pancetta, which is bacon, okay? Every single time. Now, this has happened a couple times to me. What, what do I do? My husband, he doesn't eat bacon either, okay? So, I immediately just throw it in the trash. It's a $12 and something pasta that is immediately thrown in the trash and wasted. So, I mean, it's just, it's pointless, right? So, I was like... I, I, in the, I opened it last night, and the pasta came, and it had bacon on it, and my Parmesan stick was a pepperoni stick, okay? And I also ordered a sandwich. So now I have my sandwich, but I'm really hungry, right? And we're getting ready to sit down and watch. I usually order it, and then we wait a while. I even just explained this on my vlog last night. Like, Alex lays down for an hour and rests and plays his TikToks and stuff like that. Then we watch TV shows, and I eat. So I open it, and we're getting ready to watch Real Housewives of Orange County. Mind you, my husband has just air fried a bunch of food, okay? He's ready to eat. So he feels bad for me. He goes, do you want me to run out and get you something? And I said, no, I have my sandwich from last night. I have some stuff in here that I can eat. Don't worry about it, okay? He's like, are you sure? And I said, yeah. And he goes, well, you need to complain. He goes, you need to go file a complaint. DoorDash will completely refund you your money. And I go, do you think? And he goes, yeah, okay. So I went on um, DoorDash. And first of all, there's all these different ways you can complain, okay? So I went in originally and I filed... I, put in a complaint about my food, and I said that my Piata par Parmesan stick was pepperoni, and I said that my pasta, now the Parmesan stick was $3.49, um, 
I believe, and my pasta, hold on a second, I have it written down right here in my complaint to them. My pepperoni has a first name, it's, where is this at? Did I not screenshot the whole discussion with them? Maybe I didn't, hold on a second. Do, 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 do. Oh, I hope I did. Okay, um, my pasta was eleven seventy eight, and my Parmesan stick was three forty nine. Okay, this does not count the of tip, all right? Which with those two things with tip ended up coming to twenty two twenty five. Okay, so the reimbursement for that, the only thing that you can do, the option was either to accept it or not accept it, five dollars and forty nine cents. Okay, when my order that they got wrong was twenty two over twenty two dollars. So, I was confused as to why that was my only op option, okay? So, or I think it was like, actually, it was like $4.50 or something like that. So, I reach out to them, and then I, like, start this chat. And this woman's, like, saying all this kind of stuff to me. And I said to her, yeah, this really doesn't need to be an issue. I just need to be refunded my order. Um, yesterday, it was delivered to the wrong location. I did not complain. Now, I got the wrong food. And she said, let's sort this out right away, Peter. And I said, okay. I just need a refund. And um, so she says, it shows here that compensation was already issued for the affected item and let us seek assistance since I no longer have that option and will not let us seek assistance since I no longer have that option. Okay, when you go in to complain about your food, the only option that you have, okay, is to accept this or not accept this amount of money. There's no other option there, okay? So I didn't know what to do. So I was just like, well, I guess whatever the amount of money they're offering me is better than nothing, right? So I responded and I said, oh, it was $4.50. You were refunded me $4.50. My pasta was $11.75. My Parmesan stick was $3.49. With tax, this was $22.25, okay? So she said, I issued a $5 refund on top of the $4.50. So we're, we're now at $9.50, okay? So um, she said, thank you for contacting DoorDash. So then I go in and I'm like, I don't know what else to do about this. And my husband is like, why are you paying for their mistake? And I was like, that's a good, that's a good answer. Why am I paying for their mistake? So I said to them, explain to me how I'm paying for your ex mistake, okay? So let me get through all of this here, all of my... Um, so then they respond to me and it said, it was the maximum am amount we can provide, Peter. I already ha asked uh, help with the team lead. We only provide refunds for the affected items. And I said, and then they said again, thank you for contacting DoorDash. And I said, I added the affected items together and showed you the amount, not including the tax. Since I have ordered almost every day, daily, for the last three months, and you don't value your customers... I'll have to take my business elsewhere. Goodbye. Now, this is the thing, okay? Is that I can order from Uber Eats or I can order from somewhere else, but the reality is it's mostly the same drivers and it's mostly the same kind of services behind the scenes, which I am going to try. So they issue me this credit. So I'm going to use the credit and then after the credit, I'm, I'm using, I'm not using DoorDash again. I'm going to try Uber Eats for a while and see if that works. Because this is unbelievable to me, okay? That I have literally shown you and they have this evidence in their computer that I have ordered between... 20 and $60 worth of food on an only almost daily basis have never complained. It's not like I'm, you know, in there daily complaining and saying, well, my order's wrong and I'm just trying to get money out of it. I've never once complained about this before, okay? And I think to complain about spending this large sums of money, when if you don't know on DoorDash, you get taxed huge amounts of money and um, all that kind of stuff on top of tipping the driver, on top of the delivery charge, it's a lot of money to DoorDash, okay? And yes, my husband can go out and he can go get me food if he, you know, when he's had a 10, 12 hour long day, he doesn't mind doing that. He doesn't mind picking me up food on the way home. But I like to kind of pick out my own food. Now, if I was somebody that like in my neighborhood didn't have that option and couldn't walk to a gate or drive somewhere and didn't have somebody that could take me to go get something, I'd be screwed, okay? So you're telling me that you can only reimburse a certain amount of money is ridiculous, okay? DoorDash customer service sucks. And I have to tell you, for this reason alone, and like I said, I haven't had many reasons or many problems, but in the last, like I would say, in my last five orders, there's been three times that, my pepper, that I've gotten a pepperoni stick instead of a Parmesan stick, and like two or three times that my pasta has had bacon on it. I feel like that's a lot, and I haven't complained about those previous times. So I've really lost out on like $60 worth of food. You know, well, not to mention that they wouldn't, you know, reimburse me for this, and I really don't know what to do. And so I went in today... And I thought, surely, and don't call me surely, that I will get emails from DoorDash and they will be like trying to make this right, right? Okay, so I was like, 
there has to be because I put in another complaint and I said I'm really upset like you can put this like contact in there and like send a message and I said I'm really upset with how this was handled and um, you guys didn't reimburse me the money that I spent and blah 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 whatever right so I for, I, I sh for sure thought that I would get some email from DoorDash saying uh, about all this kind of stuff nope that's not what I got Apologize, apologies for your issues with Piata Italian street food we've uh, processed a refund of $4.87 and then there's is another one that says we've uh, uh, processed your uh, refund of five dollars. I think they also issued issued me. Uh, oh no, that was from. Uh, oh, that was the one that was supposed to be ten dollars. Where's my ten dollars one that they said that they issued me? That was. I, so I guess I just got five. I didn't even realize that when I was going through these emails this morning. I just got five dollars instead of ten dollars. So they screwed me even more. Unbelievable to me. Unbelievable. Anyway, and then DoorDash support. Did DoorDash support resolve your issue and then they give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down? That for me would be a complete thumbs down, DoorDash, okay? That is not how you handle customer service. And if it had happened one time, would be bad enough. The fact that it's happened several times, not to mention that I'm a long-standing customer with you, okay? That I've spent a great amount of money um, on your service, as well as tipping your drivers, many of which have been absolutely fantastic. But this is piss-poor customer service. Absolutely piss-poor customer service. And I can't continue to support you. And it makes me sad, because I've really enjoyed, like, getting online on DoorDash and ordering my food. But there are other food service or uh, uh, applications out there and I can use those as well. So I'm just sharing this information with you because I want you to be very wary if you order from DoorDash and you have a problem with your food. I mean, if you can imagine that maybe you have a family over and you order $200 worth of food and all your food comes back wrong, the most you'll get out of it is $10, okay? I'm just going to tell you that right now. That that's the maximum that they can refund you is $10, no matter how much your order is. So don't expect to get a refund from DoorDash. And if you guys have gotten refunds from DoorDash in the past, can you let me know in the comment section below how you got that refund? Because I would like to know. Because a lot of people, like, emailed me and said, you can get a full refund from DoorDash. I tried. <laughs> I even had a conversation with somebody, a live chat. I don't know how that happens, but I would love to have gotten my full refund, trust. Um, and if I had gotten my refund, I can tell you, I wouldn't have made this video and I would have 100% continued to con choose to use DoorDash. You know, but that wasn't the case. And I feel like they treated me like somebody that they could care less about when I've used their application many, 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 many times and proved that. So anyway, um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.